Dear student, you're most welcome to the digital classroom. Here it's me, the teacher, Bikathar. Here, let's start with lesson one. The name of the chapter is an overview of the computer system. This is the subjects of introduction to computers. And we are proceeding this chapter from Peter Norton's sixth edition. This lesson includes the following sections, the parts of a computer system, looking inside the machine and software, which brings life to the machine. The first one, we let's see what is computer. Computer is an electronic device used to process data. Electronic device uses to, used to process data. Computer can convert data into information that is useful to people. Remember that people, all the times, they do not understand data, but they understand information. So computer processes the data to the informations, to the informations. Yep, the computer complete computer system includes four distinct parts: hardware, software, data, and users. So there are four important things: hardware, software, data, and users. Let's see. Let's see about the uh, picture. Let's see a picture where the four important parts are here. The hardware. There's the red sec circles, red uh, so red marks are the hardwares. Look at this. This is the hardwares. And the blues uh, are the softwares. So look at there. There are the softwares. PageMaker, Excel, PowerPoint, Illustrator, Windows. So these are the softwares. Software means programs. Software is installed on the computer. Third option is data. Look at the green one, green three lines so shows the data written in the computer and print out. And all these things are done by the people, for the people and by the people. So people are the users. Let's see the, the parts of computer system hardware. Computer's hardware consists of electronic devices that parts you to see and touch so that we can uh, and the, uh, touch and see the hardware. So, hardware are the, are the uh, devices, electronic devices. So, what's the device? Device refers to any piece of hardware used by computer, such as keyboard, monitors, mouse, modem, etc. So, these are the devices. Okay, so here are lots of devices out there. The first one uh, is what? Yep, so speakers. The second one is modem. Yep, the second one. The third option is microphone. The fourth one is RAM. The fifth one is CPU. This is the main important thing, the central processing unit. The sixth is keyboard. Seven is mouse. Eight is CD-ROM drive. Nine is sticks drive. The chip like the USB ports or other ports. And number ten is the hard drive. This is the important thing. So as we call, this is the hard disk. Number eleven is printer. Number 12 are the ports. This is the cables. So these are called ports. Number 13 is monitor. Here there is a CRT monitors. Nowadays we do not uh, use these sorts of computers. But the, the monitors, computer monitors. And number 14. Here are the expansion boards. Like AGP. Or sound cards. Okay, like that. As it cuts. Expansion boards. Let's see about the input devices. So all these devices are divided into two ways one is input and another one is output so the input devices through the input devices we put inputs into the computer let's see so here keyboard mouse light pen joystick digitizer scanner trackball microphone Optical character reader OCR, magnetic ink card reader MICR, optical mark reader OMR that we use in SSC examination, and barcode readers. So we have seen these all are the input devices, and rather than these, there are some other devices that digital camera, webcam, fingerprint recognition. And 3D scanner. So these are called in. These are the input devices. Let's see about the output devices. Yep, yep. As we are saying that cathode ray tube CRT monitor, cathode cathode ray tube CRT monitors. 
flat panel display monitor flat panel printers speakers here pad phones these are the output devices let's see about the parts of computer system so as we uh, uh, as we have seen the hardware let's see the softwares software are, are, are called uh, programs consist of organized sets of instructions for controlling the computer so these are the programs we can through the, the through these programs we can control the computer some program exit from computers used to help it manage its own tasks and devices okay own tasks and devices all the program exit exit for the user not for computer the user and enable the computer to perform tasks for you such as creating documents like that so now data data consists of raw facts which is which the computer can manipulate and process into information that is useful to people so this is data computerized data is digital that means not analog digital meaning it uh, the, that is has been reduced to digits or numbers the computer stores and reads all data as numbers. So computer doesn't uh, understand any data. Any data. A computer can convert data into the numbers, and computer can read out the numbers. All the computers use data in digital form. They convert data into forms that people can understand. Yep, such as text, numbers, uh, numerical figures, sounds, and images like that. So here, let's see. Here are some words. This is uh, th that we can understand here are some words, but these things we can't understand because these are in the other language. We do not have the idea about this language. This is called a computer language. Okay, we can understand from zero to nine and uh, zero to nine. We said the ten, uh, ten, eleven after that. But computer says that it's a first digit. 10 digits and 100 digits. We'll learn it later on. Now let's see about the users. Who are the users of computer system? So there are lots of um, there was users of computer system. So uh, the business computer is used in the business and banking sectors and insurance and education as I am using it and marketing, the healthcare, engineering design military science government applications communications sports etc etc so these are the users of computers okay let's see about the types of hardwares the hardwares has been categorized as the follows that processor memory input output devices as i said before and storage devices so let's see about the processor so let, let's see looking inside the ha in the inside the machines so look over here the data is coming going through the cables 0 to okay it goes there and it's come to another one so here these are the output devices these are the storage this is processor this is the memory as I've said input and output devices okay those are the devices okay so Let's see about the inside of the machine that is CPU. Okay, the produce that transforms raw data into useful information is called processing. This function is divided between computers, processors, and memory. So, this is the processing. The processor is called the central processing unit. Okay, so the processor is called the central processing unit, CPU. It manages all devices and performs the actual processing data. CPU consists of one or more chips attached to the computer main circuit board. This is called motherboard. Here this is the motherboard. All circuits puts the their it puts on the motherboard. So it's motherboard. Mother like mother. Mother uh, mother can handle all the people's also charts like that. It's a memory. Memory also consists of chips attached to the motherboard mem okay memory holds data and program instructions of the cpu works with them memory is called random access memory as you said that ram my ram is not uh, too much powerful so ram okay random access memory 
The CPU can find any piece of data in RAM when it needs for processing. RAM is volatile, meaning it holds data only when the power is on. When the power is off, RAM contents are lost. Okay, this is called that RAM is volatile. How memory is measured? Well, memory. So as we say that uh, my 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 uh, would say hard disk is a uh, 500 gigabyte or one terabyte. What's the meaning? What's the terabyte mean? Let's look from the beginning. Kilobytes. So when there is a hundred byte, thousand bytes. Okay, like the thousand bytes. Well, when there is actual values, there's 1,024 bytes equals to one kilobyte. Yep, yes. 1,024 bytes equals to 1 kilobytes. 1, 1,024 into 1,024, that is, this is a 1 million, equals to 1 megabyte. The 1,024 one, into 2 equals to megabyte. 1,024 into 3 equals to gigabyte. 1,024 into 4 equals to terabyte. Okay, so this is called the powers. How the powers increase the memory is how the memory is measured. Okay, let's see about the storage devices. Storage devices hold data not currently being used in the CPU. Okay, storage devices. So, what's the storage devices? We said that that's, um, a disk drive uh, is a device, a disk drive is a device that records the reads data from a written a writer's data to disk. Most new computers feature uh, a floppy disk drive. The floppy is a previous one, hard drive, an optical disk drive like that. Most common optical storage drivers are CD-ROM, DVD-ROM drives like that. Okay, so let's see the drivers. So CD-ROM drivers, floppy disks, which is not usable now. Now we use the USB or flash drives and hard track, hard disks. Software is divided in two ways, software, uh, system software and application software. So here, look over there. So there, these are the system software, this is application software. These are the data. Real-world task to the application software, this is the usual output, outputs, okay. System software like uh, what's operating software like Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Fedora, these are the application software. These are the uh, operating software. Sorry, and the application softwares, as we are used, all we say all the apps. These are the application softwares. So, the software systems, the common operating system, includes Windows, Macintosh, OS or OS2, Linux, like that. So, application softwares. These are the application softwares as you are seeing. Word processing programs database management, graphics programs, web designing tools and browsers, communication programs, entertainment and education, spreadsheet software, presentation program like uh, like which, um, PowerPoint presentation, networking software, internet applications, utilities, multimedia like Windows Movie Maker or VLC media players like Win multimedias. Okay, so these are the application software all called apps. Okay. So thank you very much. This is all about the the what's overview of the computer system. Uh, see you in the next time with chapter two.